Hi everyone and welcome once again to Marika's Moon Rituals. Today is the full moon in Leo which waxed at 1.28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Leo moon represents that fierce protective kind of love that a lioness has for her cubs. She would even risk killing the male in the pack if need be. That paternal love is instinctual and not typically predicated upon anything those cubs do right or wrong. The sun remains in Aquarius, the month of Shavat, which is all about friendships. Do we have the kind of friends that have our backs and we have theirs? Or do we have just acquaintances that are only around us superficially and say and do things that make themselves feel better in their making us feel bad? We look at the Emperor card in the Toth Tarot and see that father figure in red who would easily kill to protect his children. The aspects to this full moon remind us to use discernment and the Aquarian's altruistic talents, Mars' vitality to communicate our needs and desires, Feng Shui our lives for better energy flow, and align ourselves with our true nature. We look at Tu Bishvat, the new year of trees, and we consider that we are ourselves like the tree, the connection to the higher spiritual world and the lower material world. And we again look at the water bearer, the glyph for Aquarius, and remember that water can be used to wash away that which keeps us unclean and unfocused. We look at the emperor card and the letter Sadi, the 28th path on the Kabbalistic tree, and remember the emperor is that swift, fiery, creative energy of the universe. Remember our thinking, what we focus upon that replicates itself, what we are using our faith for, and does that match what we do. Remember the glyph for the Aquarius is the water bearer. All those things that need to be removed from your life can easily and swiftly be washed away. Wishing you all a blessed full moon. For more information on the energies of this full moon, please see our blog at the link above or in the comment section. Thank you.